Here's a quick exercise you can do to envision what your leaders need to look like in the future so we can take action today to help them develop. It starts with a quick sketch of your organization so that we can overlay what your vision of the future is going to look like. And we're describing it in observable terms, behaviors, processes, roles, people that we have today versus what we have in the future so we can measure what the gaps are. And we can also see there's some things we're doing today that we need to walk away from in the future. Now, with this construct, we can overlay your current leaders. So we got leader one, two, and three. Leader one is, is new, developing into the role, still not there yet for where you are today. Leader two is in a good spot. Leader three is exciting because we're getting leadership capacities today that we're not able to fully utilize. But when we overlay your vision of the future, we can clearly articulate where the gaps are in things like behaviors so we can train specifically to them. So leader one clearly needs to level up here. And these are usually core things like communication, clearly articulating expectations, delegating and giving constructive feedback. Leader two could be making a lateral move with some technical skills to help you launch a new line of business. Leader three has the opportunity to truly level up. And usually what this is, is going from a manager of frontline employees to a manager of managers. But what's very clear is each one of these leaders has different needs for the different roles that they're gonna serve in the future. So again, articulate the current state, the future state in observable terms so we can map a path for people's progress. Now, here's the question. As you think about your high potential leaders, what do they need most? What leadership competencies do they most need? Drop that in the comments. Very curious to see what you have. We hope this was helpful in making you a better and more purposeful leader.